pay everyone. Now, he says all these nice things about a player, but Steven ends up being the one who decides when and how they get their money, or if they get paid at all. Compared to Jerry, Steven is so cheap, too. He doesn't want to pay big deals without a fight. Shannon, is this a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Skip, I don't really have a problem with him being a, a, a tough negotiator. He should fight to hold on to the money. Mm -hmm. But for him to come out, you never heard Jerry say this. Mm -hmm. The guys have earned their money, but they need to take a discount. They need to give us a discount. Jerry paid, and in return, what he got for paying the guys the big bucks was undying loyalty. If those guys were injured in the slightest, they're going out there to lay it on the line for Jerry. Mm -hmm. There's nothing those guys wouldn't do for Jerry when it came to getting on the field and winning the ball game. Mm. In return, Jerry paid them handsomely. Mm. Steven, on the other hand, he wants that kind of loyalty, but he's not going to get where his dad got skipped mm. because, yeah, these guys, and he said it. Oh, these guys, these guys have earned big paydays. They've been unbelievable. Mm. But we need to get, we, they need to give us a discount. Mm. That's not how Jerry did business. That is not. And Jerry was rewarded. Look, and people are like, well, they have a salary cap. Uh, the salary cap went into place in 93. So Jerry's been working on a salary cap for 28, 25 mm -hmm. years. Where well, they say the last three years, Stephen mm -hmm. and the rest of the article skip has been running the team. So Jerry worked under the salary cap for 22, 23 mm -hmm. years. So Jerry understands it. Yep. He found, found a way to get it done. But Skip, you know this. In the salary cap sport, it's hard to keep everybody when you have to pay everybody. That's why you have to, okay, prioritize. Mm -hmm. You know, look, when times turn hard, look, there are necessities. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay my car note, my mortgage. The first thing they got to go in a hard time is what? It's a luxury item. Mm. Mm. You know, the gym. I'm sorry, Skip. I, I got to cut that gym out. All of a sudden, I can't get my man in petty. So you're going to have to prioritize, Stephen. I know you want to keep everybody, but you can't. You got to prioritize. Mm. No, 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 no. This is not the way you do business, and it's going to come back to bottom, Skip. Mm. They're not going to give Stephen the loyalty that they gave his dad. Mm. So what does Shannon Sharp remind me of on almost a daily what? basis on this show? That undying loyalty has gotten Jerry how many Super Bowls lately? What's it been, since 1995? It got him, it got him three, though. Oh. Got him three of them big old things. Let's see, the last one came after the 95 season. We're in 2019. I, I can't even do the math I want you to remember that. Yeah. I want you to have that I, I, I'm reminding you that you always <laughs> remind me of that. That's what undying loyalty got you. Yes. If this is true... This is huge for my Dallas Cowboys. And I'm not sure it's exactly been handed completely over to Steven. Mm -hmm. But what is happening before your very eyes or not before your very eyes is the bad cop is becoming the captain now. Mm -hmm. Because in the old days, it was good cop, Jerry, bad cop. But good cop had the, the final say. Right. The buck stopped on the good cop's desk, yeah. not on the bad cop's right. desk. Mm -hmm. So what has Jerry been known for? inserting foot in mouth, that's number one, <laughs> and loving his star players, mm -hmm. making them all like sons to Jerry Jones. All of them. So all of a sudden, Daddy Jones is no longer in power, if in fact this is true. Right. So all of a sudden, a Jerry who put his arms around every star is being replaced by a Steven who keeps arm's length from all the stars, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. And what do I know about Jerry's kids? The first thing I knew came from my old friend, the agent Lee Steinberg, now the agent for your guy, Patrick Mahone boy, mm -hmm. but in the old days, he was Troy, Troy Aikman's Aikman. agent. Oh, he was a lot of guys' agent. A lot of guys' Warren agent, Moon, yeah, he had a lot of guys. Lee told me right away as he got to know the Jones family because of the Troy Association, mm -hmm. he went number one in the draft, he said, Jerry's kids are whip smart. Jerry could be here and there and everywhere, but the kids are whip smart. Mm. And that was Stephen at the top, mm -hmm. and then Charlotte two years the junior, mm -hmm. and she went to Stanford, and then Jerry Jr. is three years younger than Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Stephen went to Arkansas only because Jerry <laughs> played at Arkansas. Right. And I think that Jerry, being a major donor to Arkansas, arranged for Steven to be a walk-on player at Arkansas. Right. And he did make the team all four years, and he did letter all four years for what it's worth. And he did, he started his final game at Arkansas, which was the 87-year 
Orange Bowl right. against my Oklahoma Sooners. Final score is 42-8 to eight, Oklahoma. But Stephen played safety, and he started that game sure. for what okay. it's worth. That Maybe, might be why they got 42 points. It, 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 could, it could be. <laughs> and it could have been like, oh, that's why. let's give him nice. a parting gift. Yeah. You know, let's, let's send him out right so Jerry will be happy Who with this. You your first start is okay. in the Orange Bowl. In the Orange Bowl. Way to go. Way to go. Okay. But. Stephen always, and I spent a lot of hours around mm -hmm. Stephen, and he was the flip side of Jerry. He had Jerry's ego, yes. but he did not have Jerry's showmanship. Nope. He was much happier to stay back in the shadows right. a little bit. If you ask him, he'll talk. Yes. You, you've heard him on his radio yeah. show. Oh, yeah. He will really talk. But he was Jerry's conscience. He was Jerry with a delete button. Because if <laughs> Stephen started to say something, you could see his mind working, no, I should I, I shouldn't. I, I better pull that one. I delete, 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 right? right. And, and if Stephen thought about giving somebody a deal at the last second instead of plunging the way Jerry does, oh, let's just pay him. Yeah. Let's pay. He's a great guy. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's my son. Yeah. Let's pay him. Yeah. Stephen would be like, delete, delete, no, delete. Right. So Stephen is Jerry far less emotionally. Mm -hmm. He is far more dispassionate than Jerry is about the Cowboys. So as a negotiator, he plays hardball. And he's no soft touch. So he's not Daddy Jerry. So the players can't run upstairs to Steven and say, my coach is being hard on me. Right. And because Daddy Jerry's like, I'll fix it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I'll talk to and him. Ever since he, yeah. And ever since Jimmy left, yeah. players could always bypass okay. the coach okay. and go straight to Jerry. Okay, so why won't this be better in the long run? Why won't this pay Super Bowl dividends because you need a bad cop at the top. You need somebody to say no. But you do skip, but here's the thing, but when guys have angst or they have a dislike because you, they feel you shortchange them, they're less apt to give you their all. Hmm. It's the thing with Jerry, because when you think about this, Jerry released all of them. Troy, Michael, Emmett, Michael. Michael. Who gave the Hall of Fame induction? Jerry, I got let it. that sink in. I love it. Your, your, boss, your boss fired you, mm -hmm. and at your biggest crowning achievement, mm -hmm. you say, I want him to come and present me. Okay, and I'm here to predict going forward, Stephen Jones will never <laughs> induct anybody into the Hall of Fame. Not one. No. Because there's going to be no love lost because was, there'll be none gained. It could, just like Al. Who, uh, Al, uh, uh, Al Davis, all the guys that went in. Okay. Al presented because they have because Al would pay. Al would, would it, look. All I care about. Can you get to the field on Sunday? Mm -hmm. If you can get to the field on Sunday, even if you're intoxicated, that is even if I just had to bail you out of jail, can that you make it to correct. the field? You can play that, good. That is good. Correct. And that's how Jerry. Because what Jerry? Who was Jerry's idol? Al Davis. When he got to the league, he cozed it, it up. It, to, he was his mentor. <laughs> he cozed it up to Al. I told you in that first year. Jerry chose to bring Oakland to, to camp to, right. so they could have three days of camp practice mm -hmm. so that he and Al could go to dinner every night. Right. He could pick his brain. Yes. How do I do this? Mm -hmm. He was Al Jr. Right. And so that, and he saw like, so really, okay, yeah, a guy's going to get in trouble. We're not going to have choir boys. And Al always felt, Skip, you needed those type of players to win. Because yep. if you had 53 choir boys or 46 choir yep. boys, you weren't winning jack. Yep. And there's one other big difference between Jerry and Steven on, on the Al Davis account. Remember, Al Davis coached at the highest level. Yes. He, had, he, had, uh, he was decorated mm -hmm. in both the AFL yes. and the NFL. Yes. Jerry was decorated on the college level because right. he was a starter for a national championship yep. team. Steven had to just hang on as a walk-on. Right. So Jerry has never had any resentment of his stars. This is just me analyzing Steven a little bit from a distance. Steven is a little resentful. They got the talent I got wanted. It. I was a walk-on <laughs> safety. I started one game in my whole career, and if I'd had that guy's talent or that guy's talent, and now they want to come here and gouge me for $50 million? No, I'm not going to do that's it. The thing, but the thing is, if you think about the Cowboys is really the only organization, Skip. They print money. <laughs> they print. They own all yeah. the copyrights. So they could, like, if Zeke has a touchdown where he's eating or something, They'll put a, a T-shirt that night mm -hmm. and get it out tomorrow. Yep. They can do that. So they print money. Steven, keep the guys happy. You keep the guys happy, they go, that was the thing, Skip. Now, granted, Jerry's made some, some bad decisions as far as personnel, but it seems yeah. to be now that he's turned it over that Will McClay is doing the, most of the draft. He draft. has, and that's a huge difference, too. And I would agree. They really haven't missed 
on their guys. You look at from Tyron Smith mm -hmm. to Zach Martin to Travis Frederick mm -hmm. to all those guys, they really haven't missed. But that's the thing is that when you identify a guy, you draft him, and he's what you think he is, you're going to have to pay him. Yep. He wants to get compensated. At every crucial junction in the history of the Dallas Cowboys, the conscience, Stephen, yes. always fought Daddy Jerry to mm -hmm. say, no, no, no. They almost got in a fist fight over the Deion Sanders deal yeah. because Stephen's point was, you're bidding against yourself. He's, he wants to come here. Right. He won a championship with San Francisco. <laughs> now he wants to come win one right. with Dallas. Right. And he did. Right. And, and so they got into a fight over that. And then the ne next flash point was Johnny Manziel. And right. I love Johnny. But I said, if he's got alcohol or other issues, I'm off, I'm off the bandwagon. And Steven was the one on draft night who stepped up and said, Jerry, no. And he calls him Jerry. That, yeah. calls All him, of the kids call him Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> they don't call Jerry, him Jerry. No. He's the bad cop. He's they the do. conscience. But you know what, Skip? Jerry would do what? The guys would go out. Jerry would go hang with the guys. Yeah, he will. He'd go hang with. Steven's not going to do that. No. Mm. Steven's not going to do that. And that's why Jerry, they, they look at Jerry. Jerry's like an older brother, older brother or uncle that he can go hang with, shoot the breeze with. That's what Jerry is. Now, Steve, that's different. And so guys are going to have to transition to like, you know, man, I heard Jerry would do all this, and Steven's nothing like Jerry. <laughs> Takes a little time. That takes a little time to adjust. No, I'm, I'm, All I'm saying, Dak. Dak. You know I'm, I'm smelling uh, Super Bowl. I'm, I'm smelling it. I'm smelling Dak Prescott. Oh, there's Bowl? a smell I, for I it now. Just, I hey, just smell that, that Super Bowl. That's Dak Prescott saying, well, y'all better get Jerry here because really? I want my money. Really? I want my money. Get, get Jerry and then, Steven, you handle uh, 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 Zeke <laughs> and Omari. <laughs> but I need Jerry for this one. They can split the duties. That's, that's a good idea. Uh, how about this for a story? Why are the Buffalo Bills talking oh. about O.J. Simpson? Oh, my goodness. Didn't know I'd be bringing up his name.